Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing an after dark clean with me. Ever since I moved into our new house here in Arizona, I've gotten so many requests from you guys just asking to share another after dark clean with me. These are some of my favorite videos to watch and nighttime is just like my favorite time of the whole day to clean. Once everyone's gone to bed and the house is just peaceful, it just seems like time moves a little bit slower. You can kind of focus on everything a little bit more and just have a lot more peace with it. So I am excited to be sharing my very first After Dark Clean With Me in our new house. We have a lot to get done because we just kind of let things stack up today. We just enjoy the day as a family and now I'm tidying up afterwards, but it's going to be good. It's going to be very peaceful and relaxing, and I hope you guys not only get lots of cleaning motivation from this, but also just enjoy and relax as well. So let's go ahead and hop into it. I want to hear you say yeah. So since this is a super relaxing after dark clean with me, I'm not going to be talking a whole lot today, but I did pick out some really relaxing music that I want you guys to just enjoy and listen to as you get some cleaning motivation and also some relaxation from watching this video. But I said earlier that I love cleaning in the evening and once everyone's gone to bed. And one of the reasons that I love cleaning at night is because sometimes the day can be so busy and I really just want to spend more time with my kids. And so anytime that I'm able to clean at night that just means more time that I can spend with my family and we're never ever going to regret spending the extra time with our family so this way I do get to have a little bit more time during the day with my family instead of focusing on cleaning our home but this way I can also appreciate homemaking a little bit more and just the opportunity that I have to do it when there aren't so many distractions and I feel like I can just find a lot more enjoyment and also a lot more appreciation for things when I'm taking it a little bit slower and doing a majority of my cleaning at night when the house is a little bit more quiet definitely helps me do that also I do get to kind of set my day up for success the next day and I get to wake up to a clean home which does not always happen but when it does I really appreciate that and I feel like my days go a little bit smoother so there's several reasons that I love to clean at night but you guys will have to let me know do you prefer to do your cleaning during the day when everyone's awake or do you like to do it at night? Of course, we all have different preferences, but it's always just fun to kind of hear what you guys like to do. I've been wondering where'd you go? Try to find you on the road. I crossed the waters and left my home. I left alone. By the sea, I won't ride. By the sea, I won't ride. 
Teach my soul to sing your song Even when my eyes can't see When I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me I know your hand is guiding me Through the valley I may walk But you were all I'll ever need Gave you life to take my fall So in the storm I will have peace So come the storm I'll still believe And when it seems I'm at the end And I don't know what I believe Through the cloud I see your hand Reaching down to guide me You're always reaching down to guide me I, I don't know what it is, but there is something so calming about hand washing dishes. I feel like I used to do this when I was growing up with my mom, and so maybe that's why I kind of have a little bit of an enjoyment of it. But I feel like it is so important to find joy and peace just in everyday things. Our life will pass us by so quickly, and if we aren't really doing our best to enjoy the small things, I feel like we will be really sad just looking back at everything and feeling like you rushed through life and just kind of didn't really enjoy everything that it did have to offer us, even in those small mundane chores. So I'll be turning 32 in October and my kids are getting older and I have just been feeling so deeply lately that I really need to slow down my mind and enjoy the small moments. I know I still have to get my chores done so I can't necessarily slow down my life and actually not do the things. But I just want to slow down my mind and while I'm doing the things that I need to do, just kind of find a little bit more enjoyment in them. And I'm not just talking about washing the dishes, but everything, just making breakfast for my boys, tucking them in at night, cleaning a messy home, doing homework with them, all of the noise of the day. I just know that it won't last forever and I really want to look back on my life and just know that I enjoyed the journey. So I just wanted to share that with you today if you have been feeling really overwhelmed or just kind of moving too fast paced in your mind take a moment while you are doing the things that you have to do like your chores or running errands and just kind of slow your mind down and let yourself enjoy it when that sleep won't come and you've cried your some let it come to you there's nothing you can do until I see you smile just below those eyes that tell me you're okay it's written on your face as you come to light i come alive your silhouette in the summer sky but this is only a matter it can only get better it can only get better and this is only a matter it can only get better, it can only get better Turn your sorrow in, burn every piece of it Let me comfort you, I'll be your go-to Cause these are youthful days, we will grow in great worse or better time is best together you must know that i love you so never bargain you for your waiting gold and this is only a measure it can only get better it can only get better and this is only a measure it can only get better 
So something else that I wanted to talk about is how I used to feel bothered at times when I would be cleaning our house for our family. Definitely not to say that I'm the only one who cleans our home. Our kids have daily chores and Kyle cleans our home and helps out all the time. But a majority of the cleaning is what I take on myself. And the other day I was thinking about that book. I think it's called The Five Love Languages. And I don't know if y'all have read it, but it's a really good book and it shows how different we all are from each other. And basically we all have these different love languages or things that we view as someone showing us love and that's typically the way that we give love as well. And I feel like we actually do that in so many other aspects of our life as well. For example, one way I show love to my family or serve them is to maintain a clean home. Some days I do better than others with that, but when I thought about how that theory relates to other aspects of our life, I realized it just helps us gain a little bit more understanding, not only of others, but also ourselves too. So if I'm cleaning our home and my husband isn't in that moment, it's not that I'm showing my love more or that he isn't, but instead it's that I find that to be something important to me in a way that I can express my care for my family. And on the other end, when my husband is taking care of our cars, paying the bills, working on the yard, and so on, and I'm not doing those things, again, it doesn't mean that I am not showing my love. It's just that we both do different things and have different ways that we show love and care for our family. So if you sometimes feel frustrated that you're doing a majority of something in one area, just keep this in mind. I think thinking about it this way just helps us in several ways. One, not to feel resentment, but also to take more pride in what we are doing and also just enjoy it more. So anyway, I hope everything I just said makes sense and I hope it can help you if you kind of struggle with that sometimes.
All right, it is the next day and our new rug for our living room came in. So I'm gonna grab Kyle and we're gonna set this up and just really hope this one works. I really love it. I almost might like it better in this space than the last one, um, just because it's a little bit more neutral and it will really give me the chance to like pick whatever colors, you know, like throughout the year to decorate with, but I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna grab him and we'll put this in. And then I also really want to tackle my office. I really have not messed with it like at all since moving in. And it's got to the point where there are just boxes everywhere. We've been kind of waiting to do anything to it until I get some organization solutions and like furniture. And I'm actually gonna be going to Ikea tomorrow with my sister to look for things for that. But before we do that, I just wanna get it like kind of organized somehow. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do my best and it really cannot get much worse. So I'm gonna show you um, like how my office is looking and then we'll go ahead and get the rug in and then we'll tackle my office. Okay, so this is my office. This is like the front door and this is where you walk into my office. And this is how it looks right now. There are just boxes everywhere. The feet are honestly not even on that couch. It's just been sitting like that for the last month. I have our old rug in the back and then just more boxes and projects and things like that that we are just kind of setting in here until we get around to doing them. Actually a lot of, not a lot of this, but some of this is for the pantry. So that I'm going to be tackling later on this week, but we're gonna get this looking better than it looks right now, which like I said, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but it cannot look worse than this. So we'll talk about as soon as we get the rug done. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. To the sound of voices in of drums I will show you how the West was won We left New York City with our windows down so I did want to give a quick update on our couches because we do get a lot of questions about how we're liking them and we have been loving them so, so much. They are super comfortable. Knock on wood, they're holding up really great with our pets and our kids and everything, but I'm so happy we went this route and I'm really excited to start painting in this room. Hopefully in the next month or two, we really are kind of narrowing down the color that we want in here, but we just cannot wait to see how it all turns out. Okay, so I really love this. I feel like this is pretty perfect. We still need to do our coffee table situation. I'm still working on Kyle to do the DIY concrete coffee table. I really, really want to do that. And he just thinks it's gonna be a big project. I think it's gonna be worth it. So <laughs> hopefully we can do that. And if we do that, it'd be perfect because we can like customize the size and everything so it'll be perfect but if you just kind of imagine a coffee table in there i feel like it will all look really great and i really really love the style of it i'll kind of give you an up close so you can see like the exact color and design on it but this one was actually very affordable it was like 250 dollars, i think which when you're looking at rugs this size i was very blown away at the price of them they were like seven eight hundred dollars a thousand dollars pretty crazy and so this one was like way more in the budget um but i just i love it and i feel like it's very neutral that i can kind of change things up i can have different patterns so i think this is the one that we're gonna stick with so i hope you guys like it too but you can let me know <laughs> what you think in the comments below and i'll show you kind of like an up close Got down on one knee Picked up a guitar
guitar I started rhyming Gonna hit those charts when I when I get my time in Right now we are in my office I am just dreading this because I don't even know where to start but I think I might just start kind of pulling things out anything that's for the pantry I can set in a certain area and then I can use that I think I'm gonna be doing that not tomorrow but the next day and then anything else I'll just start going through see if there's anything I want to donate and then kind of putting it in like piles I guess to see where we're going to end up storing it so just bear with me as we get through this process. It will be so much better once it's all done, but starting is definitely the hardest. So like I said, I hadn't made it to Ikea yet and that's where we're getting some of the furniture to put in the space and also in our guest room and just kind of other spaces in the house. But until we get that furniture built, there was not really a good place to put everything and so I just kind of moved all of the pantry items out of the room and into another space so I could use those as I'm working on the pantry. And then all of the other decor and items that are going to end up going in the furniture that we're getting from Ikea, I ended up just kind of pushing up against the wall. This is not how I want this office to stay and it's not going to we are going to do like a full makeover on this space but for now it's so much better I can finally walk in here I can work so much more peacefully and it's just a hundred times better than it was and once I was done with all of this today you can kind of get a good idea on how the office is going to turn out and I'm just so so excited to see it all come together but another thing that I did want to say is I have been working on the pantry and I cannot wait to show you guys that video. It's been a big process, but I'm sharing all of it and I cannot wait to show you guys how everything turned out with that because it is turning out super functional and so amazing. I still remember your number Can see those digits by heart with that first drink of the summer I think about where you are I'll dial 235 for you alive How I miss our late night drives in four, six How is it that in my mind I flip a switch And seven to forgetting you It's something I can't seem to do Even though we were just I close my eyes I'm waiting for the lightning strike To knock me back to 2005 Before you took that cross-country flight Before we said goodbye Okay, so before we finish up with the rest of this room or get as far as we can with it, obviously it's not going to be totally done, but it is already so much better than it was. Um, I wanted to turn you guys around and get your thoughts on something. Um, so the previous owners used to have like this big sign. I'll show you. <laughs> they used to have like a big sign that actually lit up. We took it down, obviously, and we haven't like 
repair the wall because we're thinking like there's something so cool that we could do there but we have no idea like what to do so i'm gonna turn you around and show you but if you guys have any ideas on what to do with this space or if you think we should just go ahead and like put all of the lighting or like the plugs back into the wall and then close it up um that's always an option too but if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comments because i really think it would end up being there could be something so cool we could do with this but we're just kind of lost. So anyway, I'll turn you around and show you. So here is like the barn doors, which is where you walk in. And then that is the area up there. So there's like obviously one, two, three, four, five, six plugs. We can just push them back and hide them in the wall, or we can find something fun to do with that space. I'm not really sure. These are the openings to Kyle's office right there. Then this is like the entryway, but anyway, let me know if you guys have any ideas for that. I just think there's something so cool we can do, but we have no idea <laughs> what to do with that space. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different because at first it was a super relaxing after dark clean with me and then we kind of moved into the next day. But I hope that it gave you some relaxing cleaning motivation and also some homemaking inspiration. And I hope you're enjoying just kind of seeing our new house in Arizona come together. Also make sure that you're subscribed down below so that you don't miss out on any future videos that I share on this channel. And also we have a vlog channel so I'll link that at the very end of this video where you can go ahead and subscribe over there. We have lots of like behind the scenes content and just things that don't always make it to the main channel so make sure that you're subscribed to both of those if you're not already i hope you had the most wonderful day thank you so so much for being here and i will see you in my next one bye guys oh.